Plants have held cultural and spiritual significance throughout history. They've become religious symbols, national treasures, staple foods, and household items. For many people, they're just one of nature's many wonders, but often we take them for granted, even when they help provide oxygen for our world. Plant lovers understand their importance and can go as far as breaking the bank to own them. Taking a quote from the popular George Orwell's allegorical novel, Animal Farm, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. The same holds true for plants. Plants are bought and sold and adequately priced, like most other things in life. However, the beauty and rarity of plants play a vital role in determining their value. And so in this video, we examine some of the world's most expensive plants. Kadapool Flower Priceless how do you put a price on something that doesn't last? Better put, how much would you pay for a plant that you can never take home? Before we get started on the list of the most expensive plants ever bought or sold, it's best to get started with the unique Katapool flower. Although no Katapool flower has ever been sold successfully, the plant is considered expensive. It was a native plant in Sri Lanka, where it's the country's national flower. However, the Katapool flower is impossible to collect or sell. This is because it perishes as soon as it's picked. Even flowers that are not carefully selected and kept alive in their tiny plot of soil perish shortly after blooming. The perfume oil made from the flower is ridiculously expensive because of the nature of the plant. Therefore, the only way to appreciate the beauty and natural fragrance of the Katapool flower is to travel to Sri Lanka and watch it blossom. As such, the Katapool flower has a spiritual significance to the Sri Lankan people. According to ancient Sri Lankans, the blooming of this flower summons the Nagas, or holy snake people, from heaven to present flowers to Buddha. The plant can bloom up to 100 flowers per shrub. The plant is also commonly known as Queen of the Night and Flower from the Moon. Raphidophora tetrasperma, $19,297. Raphidophora tetrasperma is a plant that grows in southern Thailand and parts of Malaysia. It has broad, rich green leaves with a specific pattern of wavy leaves that resemble cut paper. The plant was first discovered in 1893 by a British botanist named Joseph Dalton Hooker. When a plant lover saw it was being auctioned on a site, they didn't mind spending a whopping $19,297 to bring it home. You see, the Raphidophora tetrasperma is a rather rare plant. It is appreciated for its divided leaves, similar to the family Monstera, which thrive in tropical conditions. The mini Monstera plant listed on the site had nine leaves. This consisted of eight variegated leaves having multiple colors and a new leaf about to unfold. Adansonii variegata, $38,000. Among plant collectors, variegated monsteras are well regarded as status symbols. Moreover, it is one of the most expensive houseplants, so it came as no surprise when one sold for $38,000 on Etsy. Adansonii variegata is a plant with broad leaves that is well known for being a high-end houseplant. While most of these plants are unimposing all-green houseplants, some have large holes between their white and green leaves. This expanding pattern is referred to as fenestration. Adansonii Sonii variegata plants that possess these patterns are often highly prized. Its white and green color pattern earned it its nickname, Swiss cheese plant. The plant has unique genetic mutations that cause all sorts of shapes and patterns to form on its leaves in different colors. As a result, their dark green leaves highlight unique colors and patterns. Yes, there are cheaper Swiss cheese plants, but you won't be able to get one with a uniquely large fenestration. Shenzhen Nongkya Orchid, $217,000. Orchids are known for their delicateness, rarity, and beauty. As such, they're often prized for their use as ornamental plants. The Shenzhen Nongkya Orchid was created by architectural scientists at Shenzhen University in China. The scientists spent almost 10 years perfecting its creation. With all that time, effort, and beauty, it's no wonder that the Shenzhen Nankia Orchid stands as the world's most expensive orchid. An anonymous bidder bought the plant in 2005 for a whopping $217,000. This extremely rare orchid's flowers only bloom once every five years, increasing their incredible value. In addition, the plant is distinguished for its medicinal properties, like vitamin E and vitamin C, to serve as an adjunct therapy for patients with certain eye diseases. Bonsai Pine, $1,300,000. 
Bonsai is an ancient art form in which large trees are grown in small containers. When done correctly, the trees have the proportions of massive natural monuments, despite only being a few feet tall. As a result, many bonsai trees sell for tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Many bonsai trees are passed down through generations, especially since they can live long. But what do you do if you have a couple of billions in your bank account with no bonsai pine heirloom? You tell your banker to pay for the oldest one you can find on the market. So when an 800-year-old bonsai pine tree became available at the International Bonsai Convention, the Asia-Pacific Bonsai and Suzeki Convention and Exhibition by Seiji Morimi's S-Cube organization. How long do you think it took to find a ready buyer? The bonsai pine was sold for a record $1.3 million on the second day. Pretty sure the buyer wasn't aware it was on offer the previous day. For as little as $50, you can get a bonsai pine and see how long you could keep it. If you're looking to get one with some years on it, 10-year-old bonsai trees cost $100 on average, and 30-year-old trees cost about $1,000. Sweet Juliet Rose $15.8 million. This brings us to the world's most expensive plant, the Juliet Rose. To the untrained eye or casual plant observer, placing a value of $15.8 million on a plant is pure madness. But to a plant collector, the nature of the sweet Juliet Rose flower is truly hard to place a value on. When the late David Austin, a renowned rose breeder, presented his Sweet Juliet Rose at the Chelsea Flower Show in 2006, the show's observers were in awe. You see, Austin had crossbred several rose varieties to create this enchantingly beautiful rose breed and named it Sweet Juliet, after the play Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. David Austin was a lover of history and literature, hence he named his roses Charles Darwin, Dame Judi Dench, Roald Dahl, and so on. His romance with roses was everlasting. The cost of developing this new rose breed took 15 years of his life and an estimated $5 million. When you give your life and time to a flower historically associated with love, it's hard not to end up with a natural work of art. The debut of this rose was in many ways simply awe-inspiring. Though the price has come down over time, this rose is often called the Three Million Rose. David Austin had worked to create beautiful new roses since the early 1950s. Ever since, he has created more than 200 new English rose breeds. Growing up to three to three and a half feet tall, this plant is the best one for fences and flower screens. Another interesting feature is that its fragrance changes as the plant ages. Initially, it has a tea rose scent, but in a later stage, this changes to a lemony peachy aroma. Sweet Juliet is an exceptionally healthy flower, a heavy feeder, and blooms aplenty around half of the year. It loves full sunlight and well-drained soil. The shrub has a lot of upright branches growing right from the base of the stem, thus making it the perfect flowering shrub to grow. In addition, the plant is generally disease resistant. What's the most you've spent on a plant? Would you rather purchase a plant for $15 million to reduce your carbon footprint than buy a Bugatti La Voiture Noire? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Also, if you found this video informative and entertaining, please share it with your friends. And kindly give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more inspiring videos. See you in the next video.